Hey everybody, it's John Brown, the one and only Bandana Gamer, coming to you today with a Kingdom Console, Disney Pin, and game review. So as you've looked on my channel, I've been doing reviews of a pin series that Disney put out last year. They put out 12 pins in the series, there was one a month, and the pins celebrate the video game history of Disney, especially in the 8 and 16-bit era. Uh, they have this basic outline that has a console, a cartridge-based console, right there in the middle, and then a little controller that has a little cord that you can take off, but also a magnet to hold it in place. And then, of course, the TV that depicts the movie or the game that they wanted for this pin. This particular pin is the Beauty and the Beast pin. Uh, this is one of my favorite pins in the series. It has Gaston and Beast on the screen. Of course, it has the year 91, which is when Beauty and the Beast came out. And the little, uh, on, also in that is kind of a life meter represented, or time meter represented by the flower. And of course, you've got the hearts. And I've been trying to figure out, like, there are different number of hearts on each pin and trying to figure out what they mean. Haven't really found a good answer for that. So if you know, let me know in the comment section below. But I really like this pin because it prominently features Beast and Gaston. And it really looks like you're playing the game as Gaston, which I think would be an amazing game. I actually really think a Disney villains game where you beat all the heroes would be awesome, but I doubt that is something Disney will ever let come about. But I really like the artwork. It's very reminiscent of the Sega Genesis game we'll talk about in a sec. Uh, Beast really has a cool look to him that's what, how he's featured in that game. And on the cartridge, which I, it's always hard to get up on these, uh, I'll put a picture up here. There's a lovely picture of Belle. So it's a really cool pen. Uh, it does not really connect with a specific game, as none of them do. They really celebrate the movies, and the movies just happen to have games. Um, and I'm assuming that's because of the different licensees and developers that were involved. So they just kind of pay homage and point to some games, uh, but really focus on the movies. So game-wise, I was going to talk about Beauty and the Beast... Roar of the Beast for the Sega Genesis. Uh, it was developed and made by Sunsoft, licensed through Disney. Uh, it was put on the Sega Genesis. There is another Beauty and the Beast game on the Sega Genesis that I know of that is a Bell game. And I think that's kind of cool. You kind of have the Pokemon thing going with two versions, but I think they're actually, they are different games uh, completely. But you had a Beast game and a Bell game. And I have the Beast one, don't have the Bell one. Uh, but this game is not that good. Graphically, it is beautiful, especially for its time period. Uh, the beast, the main sprite, looks amazing. The enemies are great. The background looks amazing. Like you really, it really makes you think of the castle uh, that Beast lived in. I really, really adore all that. But the gameplay, eh? Um, one of the things is you either have Beast standing upright or crouch, walking in a crouch, where he's like on all fours. And it's hard to tell. Some enemies take you being in stand to take them out. Some of them take you being in crouch. It's hard to tell sometimes which ones that is. And it's hard to tell how close you have to get to an enemy. Because Beast uses, you know, physical attacks. He either bites or punches at them. Um, and it's really hard to tell how close you have to be to an enemy where you can hurt them, but they can't hurt you. As you'll see in the gameplay footage, I am not good at this game. This game just does not work for me. I can't really even get past the first level. And it's not one I really, really enjoyed. However, Video Game Monthly last month sent me a game that I didn't know existed and was surprised to get. And while it is a little older than uh, what the pen is probably commemorating, it is kind of that style and era of graphics. And that is Beauty and the Beast Board Game Adventure for the Game Boy Color. This is kind of a Mario Party game on a Game Boy uh, color system and you can also since the black cartridge played on the original Game Boy there are some graphical discrepancies when you play it on the original Game Boy but you can also pop it in a Super Game Boy and it has a really cool border that it puts up. Um, this is a fairly fun game it's it's fairly limited uh, what you do there's a story mode you're playing as Belle and you're trying to get through these different boards to get to the castle before Gaston does. And, of course, as you go, there's different mini-games you can play. There's a trivia game. There's a kind of kaboom juggling game. Feels very Game & Watch. Uh, you play as Belle's father in that one, and you're trying to get log, logs over from the 
log cutting machine to the pile without letting them drop on the ground. There's a basic matching game. You know, you see the board before. Uh, it closes up, and then you have to match the pictures. You have a tri uh, I think I already said trivia. Uh, then you also have a shooting gallery game, which is, you know, it's fairly po easy point and click. But it's a fun game, and graphically for the Game Boy, especially when you put it in the Game Boy Color, this thing is beautiful. And a really cool feature that I love is it has a... Uh, it's constantly saving. So if you were playing this game and you had to go somewhere and turn it off, it saved where you were and you could go back into that point uh, later on when you saw it, which is really, really cool for portable games. So I wouldn't recommend the Sega Genesis War of the Beast, but I would definitely recommend the board game, Beauty and the Beast game for Game Boy Color. Well, my friends, that'll do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a like and subscribe, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.